Good morning and welcome to an, another adventure in how stuff works here in Upstreet. Today I wanted to give you a little tutorial going through what ProPresenter is, how you use ProPresenter. Right now as you can see we've got three things going on right now. I've got a slide selected here which is our piece slide. It's shown in this box and this box is exactly what's happening up on the projector up there. And the way this works is you just scroll through this library of playlists um, that is usually prearranged for you. And basically the way that it works is you just click on any of the slides and it'll show up there, it'll show up here. Um, there are typically three different types of slides that we're working with. There are backgrounds, there are the full slides, and then there are audio. In this particular um, instance here, the Sweet Seat, we have an independent audio track up here. So whenever you select this, you will have to go up, and I typically hit rewind so that I know that I'm starting at the beginning, and hit play. We have audio happening right down here. I've installed a little switch for us so that we can go up and down with the audio with relative ease. And then when we're done with it, you can either hit cancel there, or typically I come up to this selection, which is our kill switches, and clear all. That way everything is gone, and I know that I'm not going to have any overlap when I go to start my next thing. Um, we also have slides where the audio, if there is any, is embedded into the slide and will play right away when you click the slide. Nothing required on you, as soon as you hit the slide, the audio will play automatically. Video will play right away. You don't have to worry about that. And as soon as you go into a new slide, they will transition over each other, so there's never an abrupt end to anything. Everything will fade automatically. It's built into ProPresenter really nicely. There are two typical ways, too, that you can look at your timeline. I like keeping it like this so that I can scroll through it. But if you think that this is too complicated or you think you might accidentally click something else, there is a button down here. It says contiguous. You can click that and see all of your, your presentations one at a time so you don't accidentally go to something that you don't want to. Again, if you need any questions or want to run through it with me, go ahead and get in contact with me and we can do that. Have a nice day.